What's up YouTube? We have a very cool video for you today. We're going to show you 10 different ways you can make $100,000 per year with your camera. We get asked the same questions every day by our students. How do I land video clients? How do I make money? And how do I turn video into a full-time job? And we're gonna answer all of those questions today by showing you 10 examples of full-time filmmaker students who are each making over $100,000 a year in unique ways with their video skills, ranging from real estate and product videos to creating social media content for Will Smith. And each of these students learned or enhanced their skills with our online program full of over 500 tutorials that teach you from beginning to end how to create professional videos and how to land high paying clients with those videos. And included in the course, you'll get access to exclusive interviews with five of these students who tell their story, how they scaled their business, and their advice to beginners who want to do the same. So make sure to check out the link in the description if you're interested in learning more on this topic. Before we get started though, big thanks to Storyblocks for sponsoring this video. All the graphic titles you're seeing in today's video came from Storyblocks and they have more than just titles. Storyblocks is the complete stock solution with over 1 million royalty free, high quality videos, audio tracks, images, after effects, templates, sound effects, and so much more. They have affordable subscription plans where you can download any asset you want for your videos and they have an unlimited all access plan which lets you try out multiple assets so you can see which one best fits your project. Storyblocks knows that us content creators are always Always looking for tools that will save us time. So they went out and created over 1 million assets to elevate our work and save us tons of hours. We'll drop a link below or just go to storyblocks.com slash Parker. If you guys want to increase the production value of your videos, definitely check them out. And again, Thank you, Storyblocks, for sponsoring today's video. All right, so let's dive into these 10 industries that can make you over $100,000 a year. And let me be clear, the $100,000 doesn't just happen by you deciding you want to be in that industry. The people who succeed are the ones who are grinding their craft, constantly creating content, and getting better with each new project. You can't expect to make money with your camera if you don't know how to use your camera, which we'll get to later. So industry number one, and I'd say one of the most popular industries is is commercials. And we could honestly break this one category down into 10 subcategories of its own. But commercial filmmaking is when you're being paid to create advertisements for a product, brand, or service. And naturally, the bigger the brand, the bigger the budget. The need for video has never been higher. Companies want videos to promote their products. And as saturated as you think the filmmaking industry is, the demand is even higher. One of our students, Danielle, is projecting to make upwards of $400,000 this year alone doing commercial work with her best month bringing in 86k and she's only 24 years old i sat down in an interview with her and she told me about how just a few years ago she was working as an in-house editor for a company making 16 dollars an hour when she realized a gigantic need for video work in her hometown of boston so she started her own production company with the skills she had relocated to new york and grew that production company to now make commercials for snapchat candy crush dayquil and nyquil adidas native and was even recently asked to help shoot on SNL because of her expertise. And that all may seem unachievable to you, but if Danielle started in this industry making 16 bucks an hour and is now having a $400,000 a year creating commercials for big name brands, you can do it too. And again, if you want to hear her whole story, we've uploaded our interview with Danielle in the course. But how do you get started in commercial filmmaking or any industry? Stick around to the end and we'll reveal the key ingredient that all of these successful filmmakers did to kickstart and scale their video business. Industry number two is real estate. Real estate videography is where you are hired to create a cinematic video of a home that will increase its chances of selling. Real estate is a very popular industry to make quick and easy cash. It's a low stress environment, a fairly simple edit, and an easy industry to land recurring clients who will hire your services again and again because there's always more homes to be sold. When a realtor is selling a home, they want that listing to be seen by as many people as possible. And while photos are also a necessary part of selling a home, video allows potential buyers to virtually walk through the home in a clean, cinematic way. And depending on the home selling price, you can usually charge on average between $500 and $5,000 per real estate video. One of our students, Gary, plans on bringing in $200,000 this year with his best month being 30 k filming nothing but real estate. One way Gary does this is by offering a wide range of upsells for the agent, like filming them walking through the house 
as they explain the key features. So then the agent ends up buying multiple videos per listing or more add-ons to their one video. And there are so many other students who are also bringing in six figures filming real estate full time. Industry number three is social media content. Now this industry is obviously way newer than other industries. Some brands, whether they be companies or people, might not want commercial type videos and ads for their brands. They might just want shareable content made by creators. And we call these creators content creators. They're really good at making short, engaging content that makes people want to share with their friends, thus increasing brand awareness for the client. An incredible example of this is Leah from our community. A few years ago, before TikTok was even very mainstream, Leah picked up a camera for fun and started learning Premiere Pro and After Effects. The more she did these videos and got better at them, the more people who started to see her content. And one of those people was Will Smith's manager. They were impressed, liked her videos, and asked her if she would come and shoot for Will's new company for a day. And the rest is history. That opened the door for her working with Jada Smith, Chance the Rapper, Sam Sheffer, B&H, Joby, Jessica Chastain, and even Hamilton on Broadway, who paid her $9,000 for three 25 second edits. And one of the ways Leah can charge as a high price is because she is creating a video so unique that almost nobody else is doing, and she's shooting, editing, and delivering the video all in the same day. So fast turnaround times are a huge way to separate yourself from the competition. Sometimes the brands don't want to throw their audience more ads. They just want to throw their audience fun videos that will be shared amongst friends, and that's what Leah has chosen to specialize in and is killing it. Now, obviously her work was seen by the right people, but that kind of luck wouldn't have happened if she wasn't creating dozens of videos, getting better each time and posting them for the world to see. It was only because of her commitment to consistency, putting out desirable videos that brands eventually discovered her and wanted her to do it for them. Industry number four is product filmmaking. If there is one great need out there in corporate America, it is to have high quality product videos. This could technically be under the commercial umbrella, but it's such a popular niche that we gave it its own section. Businesses pop up left and right with new ideas, new products. I feel like a new tequila company is invented every hour and people want their product showcased in a cinematic way. Austin Paul sat down with me in an interview and told me his story of how he went from making $150 per video just four years ago to now working with big name brands who pay upwards of $20 thousand dollars per project and this year alone he's expecting to bring in around two hundred thousand dollars and the coolest part is he films it all inside his house We've had him on the channel before, but Austin is a perfect example of someone who understands lighting, understands camera work, and understands how to showcase a product in a way that sells. And honestly, even though his work is shot in his kitchen on his DSLR, his results still rival that of large budget production companies. Yes, you can subcategorize his industry under the commercial realm, but maybe you don't wanna be out there filming big commercials. Maybe you'd rather be in the comfort of your own kitchen, filming a commercial for your favorite drink company while making 20 grand. The possibilities are endless. And Austin has also create a course where he shows how he does it. We'll drop links to him below. Industry number five is weddings. Almost every filmmaker starts off filming weddings or has done a wedding at some point in their career. It's actually how I got started. And trust me, this is a very lucrative business. There is no shortage of people getting married out there. And wedding planners are always in need of good videographers. The first wedding I ever filmed was for free and the next one only paid $400. Fast forward just a few years and I was charging eight to $10,000 per wedding film. Obviously a lot goes into charging that much like experience, quality and company production growth, establishing an appealing brand, bringing second shooters, etc. But our community is filled with thousands of wedding videographers who are doing this as their full-time job. One of them, our good friend Adam Grumbo is even bringing in over $300,000 with their best month being in the range of 63,000. And if you don't know anything about weddings, you might think that's crazy, but I did it for years. Weddings pay very nicely and they're not going anywhere. One of the ways I brought in six figures was by offering a wide variety of services in my brochure that if the bride and the groom wanted, could be built out to over a $25,000 package, which includes a variety of edits, raw footage, hours of coverage, trailers, etc. There is so much you can do in the wedding industry and it's one of the most popular industries to start in because of how quickly you can scale your business. For example, one of my first weddings ever over four years ago is still making me money because their friends loved their video and hired me and then their friends loved their video and hired me and that happened with almost every client. If you do good work, wedding planners and brides and vendors will refer you to everyone they know and it's a never ending snowball of referrals. So a big key to success in this industry is over delivering, being a pleasure to work with and leaving a great impression so that people will refer you to future couples. 
Industry number six is music videos. Music videos are fun, but a little harder to make money in until you're well established. Typically with any industry, you need to work your way up the industry's food chain from small budget to large budget clients. With music, your small budget clients are usually your no budget clients. But like we've been talking about, all it takes is for your work to wow the right eyes and you have yourself your first big client. Inside of our community, there are a large handful of people who are bringing in six figures filming music videos for artists, bands, groups, orchestras, you name it. A few of our students like Josh Sales is bringing in over $20,000 each month just filming music videos. And if you do good work, the artists will want to use you for every new song and album they produce. And this industry can give you a lot of creative freedom as well. Sometimes the artists might just want a cinematic video of them singing their song. Sometimes they might ask for more of a story. When I was getting into videography, I didn't really know what niche I wanted to put myself into. So I reached out to an artist who opened at a concert I was at, Rivers, and asked if I could make him a video. He said yes, and we created a storyline around one of his songs. So while there were shots of him singing, the video had a story that viewers could follow and feel connected to until the end. Music video budgets obviously depend largely on the artist or label. Most higher end music videos are in the $100,000 budget range, while most average artists are trying to make things happen in the eight to $15,000 range. And then obviously startup artists will have much smaller budgets than that. One of our students, Ryan, makes upwards of $100,000 a year doing music videos, charging around $5,000 per video. And he's found most of his success by filming music videos for an album release because the artists are then much more inclined to pay for an album launch video rather than a video to promote one song. So in the music industry, it is a lot harder to break out of the low budget market and into the lucrative market. But once you do, you'll quickly find yourself making great money as many of our students have. Industry number seven is concerts and live events. This industry has a wide range of styles. You could be wanting to film hype edits for bands, musicians, clubs, concerts, venues, or maybe even recap videos for festivals or parties or charities. Or maybe you're wanting to do more of the broadcasting side and film live events of speakers and keynotes, presentations, and things of that nature. Either way, all can pay very well. For concert videos, you can expect to be making $500 to $1,000 a day on average for shooting and editing. If the artist or band brings you on tour, most members in our community who do this can average about $2,000 a week. Obviously with larger labels or artists with larger budgets, those numbers go up as long as your skill set is up to par. But those are about the industry averages. And there are fun events like lantern festivals or paint fights where your job is to showcase the event's best parts in a highlight video. Your goal is to recap the event in a way that makes people feel like they missed out when they watch it and makes them want to buy tickets to attend the next one. Parker's done quite a few of these and has charged $5,000 for a couple hours of shooting and a one to two minute edit. And because those make for fun footage, he's even made thousands of dollars selling stock footage from those shoots years later. And you can see how a good video like that is something these companies will pay well for because it will help drive future ticket sales. Industry number eight is action sports. This is a fun industry to be a part of, from filming football to UFC fights to motocross, you get to be right up in the action and capture incredible content and athletes. On the high end, you could be easily making around $200,000 a year filming sport recaps, hype videos, etc. One of our students, Hoku, started out filming hype videos for college part-time, making $1,000 a month, which he grew into making more and more until he landed a $15,000 gig for the NFL, filming the Buffalo Bills and various players. Another student of ours, Ryan, had his best month bringing in $22,000 filming UFC fighters, their practice sessions, their fights, and everything in between and turning them into hype videos. Another student, Levi, films motocross as a passion, not so much for the money, and is still making $3,000 a gig from it. And there are countless more students who are filming rodeos, soccer teams, and so much more, bringing in six figures a year. Industry number nine is travel videos. This industry is everyone's dream, but it's probably one of the hardest ones to get into. But the main ways to make money off this is through travel agencies, influencer sponsorships, or corporations that do sales incentive trips. A travel agency will hire out creators to make a cinematic showcase of the city or country they're in. Their goal is for you to make content that makes people want to visit and tour their country or city. Again, this is definitely a hard way to make a living because to be hired for travel video work, these agencies want to see your travel videos. And it's hard to get started if you don't have a lot of money you can spend on travel just to build a portfolio. The better way is to find sponsors. Recently, a phone company wanted our team to promote their latest 
model and to create a cinematic video with it. We typically charge $30,000 to $40,000 for these types of sponsorships and used a portion of that budget to visit Cancun and create a cinematic travel video with the product. Everything we didn't spend on travel, we got to pocket. You do three, four of those a year and you can be making six figures traveling with your camera. Obviously that deal wouldn't have happened without us having a large YouTube following. So these companies will usually bank on large influencers with large audiences. But before Parker had a following, he landed a gig with a health product company that did sales incentive trips for their top salesmen and wanted to document those trips and share with the whole company to incentivize more salesmen to increase performance. So Parker worked as one of several cameramen charging 1500 a day for five to 10 day trips around the world, making around $10,000 a week just to document other people's vacations. So there are many ways you can make money traveling as a filmmaker, it's just a little harder. And the final industry and arguably one of the hardest industries to make it in is the narrative film industry. The narrative film industry is a hard one to break into, not only because the style of filmmaking is a much more cinematic and specific style than most content creators are used to, but it's also largely about who you know and how much better you are than the others competing for the same position. But again, if your work speaks for itself and you're out there networking and building a portfolio and relationships, you can freelance yourself on these sets by doing many different and well-paying jobs. One of our students, Ryan, makes six figures working as a deep on television and commercial sets. Now, your rate completely depends on your experience and personal self-worth, but most DPs, cam ops, and other set hands in our community will charge $500 to $1,000 per day on set. And some of these shoots can last two to four weeks, sometimes more and sometimes less. If you're creating your own films, you can make good money by getting sponsors. Whenever you see big brands in movies, it's because they're paying a lot of money for their product to be showcased in a scene or in the movie. One of our students, Philip, was creating a short film and Bronco wanted to sponsor it and put their truck in his film. So instead of having to put his own money into everything, a sponsor was providing the film with a budget he could use and also pay himself with. You can also submit your films to film contests and try to win for prize money, or a lot of indie films will put their films into local theaters and make money off the admission tickets. If you have a large following on YouTube or Vimeo, you can post your films and make money off AdSense, but it definitely requires hundreds of thousands of views to start making decent money. Narrative filmmaking definitely takes more time and even years to work your way up because like I said, a lot of it is just who you know. But once you can break into it, there's a lot of money to be made. So there you have it for the 10 ways you can make $100,000 a year with your camera. This list isn't exclusive. There's plenty of other industries to make money in, like drone operating, shooting tutorials or online course material, freelance editing, etc. But these were just 10 of the most popular ones we share today. Now, obviously, all those ways take a lot of work. So let's now talk about how you get started. All of the B-roll you saw today was either shot by our students or our team. And we asked our students who were seeing success how did they get started? It's easy for us to look at them bringing in 100, 200, 300K a year and think, wow, I could never do that. But what we don't talk about as often here on YouTube are the thousands of hours these students put into their industry, often without a paycheck, to work their way up and land big clients. And the number one way that all of these students got their careers off the ground, the main ingredient that kickstarted each of their businesses was by a method we call free to fee. Free to fee is where you create free video work for a business that ultimately will land you a paid job. And I know there's a huge debate in the film community about working for exposure, and this isn't that. For example, Leah wanted to create social media content for brands, but she had no portfolio to show. So why would anyone hire her without knowing what she could do? So she went out and she created dozens of videos, making sure that each one was better than the next, sacrificing her own time and resources to make them until eventually she caught the eyes of Will Smith's manager. Austin wanted to get into product filmmaking, but had no idea how to do it. So he buckled down, invested in gear, courses, and spent hundreds of hours practicing again with his own time and spending his own money until he got good enough to attract large brands. Parker created a free video for a clothing company, sent it to them, they were impressed, and paid him $5,000 to go to Hawaii and film another one. He also created a free iPhone versus Red video on his own time, which was then seen by LG, and they wanted to have him do the same thing for them with a larger budget. 
I wanted to break out of the local wedding film world. So I offered a free wedding video for a client getting married in Hawaii as long as they paid for my travel. They happily agreed and since I now had a destination wedding in my portfolio, I was able to start booking six, seven, and eight thousand dollar weddings all over the world. You can't just expect to start making six figures. You can't just expect every brand or company to take a chance on you. You need your work to speak for itself. And oftentimes that means creating free work to enhance your portfolio so that you have something to show to paying clients. And our community is filled with thousands of students who are seeing incredible results from the things we teach inside of our online course. Our course is ever evolving and we're always adding new content. Just this year, we've added two new sections about photography and smartphone filmmaking. And we have workshops that cover weddings, real estate, commercial, travel, music videos, and so much more. And we're working on new courses as we speak. We've also uploaded the full interviews with Leah, Gary, Austin, Danielle, and other students who tell their full stories of how they went from making $0 to bringing in six figures a year, all inside the course. So if you want to join our community and start your journey as a full-time filmmaker, click the link below. But you guys, that's it for today. Thank you so much for watching. We hope you enjoyed it. Make sure to hit that like and subscribe button on your way out. And if you have any further questions, please let us know.